Okay, hi guys. So I got this little um, sensor off of SparkFun. It's like a nine degree of freedom accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer thing. And I programmed it to sort of act as a knob. So if I turn the knob up, uh, it should trigger a sound. And then if I turn the knob back down, it should turn the sound off. Okay, and then if I turn the knob up further, it should get louder. And then the other thing that I did, which you can't see, um, or you're not going to be able to hear very easily, but that I can show you. So I'm sitting in this sound sphere with 32 speakers, um, which maybe I'll just insert a picture of that here so you can see it. Okay, so this is a quick shot of the sound sphere that I'm sitting in. Um, yeah, it's still, I guess it's still kind of hard to get a sense of it from here but uh, it's just a big structure with loudspeakers all over it. This is what the speaker array looks like. Um, and so by pointing the sensor in different directions, I can actually move the sound around the sphere. So if I point my sensor forward and turn a note on, the sound is coming out of the speakers. It's right in front of me. And then say, I move the sound to my side or to the other side okay. so when I when I open that window the computer gets a little bogged down and then there's some lag um, but if I leave the window closed then actually I can just pan the sand, the sound around, uh, and wherever, whatever loudspeaker I point my sensor at is where the sound comes from. And so I was thinking that this might be interesting for a number of reasons. What I might do is try to build this into a glove or something and maybe try to make it wireless. Um, but it might be interesting, A, from the perspective of live musical performance, the idea, or dance performance, the idea that you can uh, use your body to move sounds around in space. Um, it might also be interesting from a music or audio production uh, standpoint, uh, because if you're if you're creating spatial audio, it might be nice to have an interface where you can just take a sound, you know, take a sound, place it somewhere, and then leave it. You know, take another sound, place it where you want it, and leave it there, and maybe even animate sounds. You know, grab a sound and say that this, this should move from here to here over this period of time, or something like that. Um, so, I was thinking it might be interesting uh, to try to work with a dancer, maybe, to come up with uh, a vocabulary of movements or gestures that could be used uh, for this type of thing. Um, so yeah, that's just a thought. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been working on, and I think that's all I have to say for now.